Welcome to Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host, Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Monday, the 22nd of November, 2021, and this is an episode late in the 30s. <laughs> I think. I don't think it's 40, um, but it might be. Um, how are you? How was your week? I'm at the yarn shop because I teach a class here very shortly, and... I am so tired today. Um, I think it's because I haven't had any caffeine and I have been having caffeine every day. So yeah, pretty sure because we did all the school things. Well, first of all, my children woke up at ridiculous early o'clock. They were up at like 2.30 this morning and have, they've been up since 2.30 this morning. I'm going to grab some knitting since I'm chatting with you. Um, so they woke up and so the dogs woke up because they were like, oh, children are awake. That must mean it's breakfast time. So then I got up and I know I took a couple 20 minute naps in between 2.30 and waking up for my day, but I'm feeling the fatigue from that. So we got home from school and picking up Patrick from work and um, I had just a little bit of time before I needed to come into the shop. Well, not before I needed to come into, before I wanted to come into the shop. So I set myself a 15 minute timer and I was like, okay, we can nap for 15 minutes. And then that timer went off and I looked at my phone and I was like, no, we're going to go in at the normal time. I wanted to come in early so that I could do a re I could record a tutorial today, but obviously that didn't happen. It's fine. I will hopefully record it on Saturday. I really want to get it out um, before December, just because. Arbitrary goal, but it just wasn't happening today. I was too tired. So then I turned off my alarm to wait for my go to the shop alarm. And uh, I fell into like a coma. You know those naps that are not really naps because they happen like this? That's what I had. But feeling a little bit better than I did when I climbed into bed when I got home. So I, brought my, I bought myself some uh, Tropical Cafe smoothie tropical smoothie cafe yes that one um for dinner in hopes of like keeping myself awake for my students so let's talk about some crafty things um yesterday i finished the cat pillow look how cute all those little faces are so i threw it through the wash. And the way that I did that is I put it inside a, um, a project bag that was like just big enough to hold it and then put it in the wash and then I air dried it. So everything's clean and fresh and ready for my friend. And then this morning I sewed buttons onto the back. So I don't actually know what the pattern says to do for this. I'm pretty sure it says to make a giant granny square for the back, but I don't know what they what they offered for a solution for closing, like if you're supposed to enclose the pillow in completely or what. But I like the option of having a, uh, I like the option of having it be removable because what if she wants to wash this? Or what if she just likes to change out her pillow covers? I don't know. I don't know. So I made a flap so that, um, if you put a pillow in here, it's not going to fall out because I hate that. It's my least favorite thing about pillowcases is when the pillows start coming out. So this is finished. I am going to box it up and hopefully get to the post office this week. I should be able to with three days, three extra days off of work. So what else? Um, I got to the 
toe on this sock because I wanted to record a tutorial. This is my nephew's sock. It's not very exciting. It's that perfect sock I was working on last week. Maybe I've been working on it two weeks. I don't know, probably two weeks. Um, definitely two weeks because I took it to date night a couple weeks ago. Okay, so it's that perfect sock. It's at the toe. I just need to record the tutorial and then I will start the second one of that, but it's not high priority because I don't have to ship that. Um, I do have to ship this hat and here is the brim. Um, the yarn is Dancing Dog Guy Works, which is not a dyer anymore, although um, Michelle, I blanked on her name for a minute, um, Michelle has a different dyeing company now. Um, so yeah, I have this and it's like a light fingering. I wouldn't say it's a lace, but it's definitely on the lighter side. So I'm making kind of a sock head hat, but I did increase the stitch count and go down needle sizes to make it not so airy. Um, I didn't swatch, hopefully it's not too ginormous, but I think it should be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just gonna make a sock head hat probably with the same like decreases and stuff as in the pattern, although I don't know. I can't be sure. Uh, that is a pattern by, I think, Shelly McClure. It's free. Um, it's free on a blog, or I think you can download, um, like the adult size is free. No, maybe all of them are free. I don't know. Now I'm just, uh, now I might be confusing something, it was something else. Anyway, the hat is much longer than it was. Thanks to Wheel of Time. I started watching that last night with Patrick. We watched all three of the episodes that are out. It is very good, but very, I have a nip in my hair from the, from the hat. Um, very different from the book. I know this because I'm listening to the audiobook and the place that I am in the audiobook is right around the place that we finished for episode three. Um, but also not like, I don't know. I think it's good. I think that if you haven't read the books, the, the show still makes sense. You still like find the characters interesting. Um, some things are like hyper accelerated, I feel, in the show. And there was one moment where I was like, <gasps> that I was not expecting. So um, overall, really good though. I like it. It's on Amazon Prime. And um, I intend to listen to more of the audiobooks. So hopefully I will be caught up to next week's episode. Um, which I think we're gonna watch on Friday. I think Patrick might be off work then too, so we can watch it together. And that's that's probably when this is going to get finished because it's just boring. <laughs> I'm pretty over doing um, vanilla stuff, vanilla knitting. I'm pretty over it. Like the sock is vanilla. I made Patrick's other brother a turn a square hat that was vanilla. The um, the sleep sack was mostly vanilla. Like I'm just I'm over it. I need some things with some things. So this morning at two thirty, when the children woke me up and I realized I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep, I cast on a hat. And uh, it's got a folded brim and it has, those are my floats. It has color work. Look how cute it is. Um, it is like an Aaron Waite hat and it's 
not super tight. So I don't know if I want to add elastic to the band or just kind of have it be not super tight. It's not for me. It's for someone else. Um, my plan is to finish it off. I'm slowly, so I started with the cream and then had the like kind of a flip and so now I'm hoping by the decreases to have um, gotten rid of the, the cream in the pink altogether. It doesn't really matter if I don't know if I'm doing color work all the way to the decrease. I'm not using a pattern. Um, But my plan is to have a giant pom-pom on the top and then to also make some fingerless mitts in a similar though not matching motif. Maybe matching. I don't know. I didn't write anything down and I know that some of these color work sections are irregular so yeah I am pretty pleased with it. I th hope the recipient likes it. I think it's super cute and the double brim will keep her ears super warm. Um, I doubt my classroom teacher watches this, so Caitlin, if you're watching, surprise, this is your Christmas present, but she works dismissal, so I just want her to have something extra warm over her ears while she's standing outside in the extra cold, and pink is her favorite color. So yeah, obviously, this is what I was feeling working on today since it's almost finished and I anticipate finishing the, um, the knitting on this tonight at class. That is my plan. I'm still reading Witches Steeped in Gold. I read a chapter at lunch today. I think that's just what it's going to be. I think I'm just going to read a chapter at lunchtime because I am too exhausted at night <laughs> to read. I can listen to an audiobook at night but not read an actual book. All right, friends, I will check in with you later this week. Bye. Tuesday friends it is after school we are officially on Thanksgiving break and my plans for the next five days are basically wear jammies don't leave the house <laughs> take naps so um, I do have a to-do list but I glued something in on the bottom half of the page in my notebook so that I could not make it a very long to-do list um, yeah, and I think we might go to the movies this week, maybe. Patrick has tomorrow and Thursday off with us, so that's really exciting, but we're not going anywhere for Thanksgiving. I'm not cooking Thanksgiving dinner, um, so yeah, it's just gonna be really, really chill and relaxing. I'm looking forward to it. I received an ornament swap package today. Oh, this first. So, look at this. Look at this cute little star and a little stocking. Oh my gosh, so cute. Plus some minis and some tea. I'm so excited. In crafty news, I did finish the hat last night, except I'm going to put a giant pom-pom on it. Um, I think I probably could have taken out about eight stitches on the hat for cast on. I used my regular cast on for worsted weight, but this is more of an Aran, so it's a little bit loose. So I think what I'm going to do is, because I did a folded brim, there is an opening right here. I think I'm going to run some elastic through and have that bring in the hat just a little bit. 
So I'm going to see if I can find my elastic tonight. I know I have a little somewhere. And then I made it into the plain stockinette portion of the hat. So yay, I'm about a quarter of the way finished with this hat because the body of the hat will be, I think it calls for twice as much stockinette as ribbing. That seems awfully long now that I think about it. This is probably not going to see a ton of work unless we go to the movies, in which case I will bring this. This will be my movie knitting and it will go zoom, zoom. Um, I think I'm going to start the next, or I'm going to start the first fingerless mitt for this because that sounds exciting and I might wind yarn for another hat, the measure and love hat that I'm planning on making for one of my coworkers. I think I might wind that on. I haven't picked it yet, but I'm going to, I'm, I think I'm going to use an indie dyed yarn. So these cute little minis from uh, the ornament swap made me really, really, really want to work on scrappy projects, which I haven't done in such a long time, which is a shame. Well, actually, I have worked on scrappy projects. I worked on um, both of those socks that I made, the shorty socks for my friends, the the tweed one and the um, brown and blue striped one. Those are both scrappy projects. But um, I'm co-hosting a scrappy make-along and I haven't been like talking about it. So fail me. Sorry, Tracy and Beth for that failure. But um, I really want to work on scrappy things. So I had this blanket square in progress, but um, only to like right here. So I had most of this blanket square to go and I finished this one and now I'm going to put these three minis into this blanket. I didn't realize how much I missed scrappy projects, but it's so nice to work on, even though I have holiday, holiday makes to be working on. I'm going to work on scrappy things instead because it's my little vacation and I do what I want. I just realized that I forgot to show this. So I opened this package um, with this adorable little hat ornament with the pom-pom as big as the hat. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Uh, I opened this sometime last week and I just forgot to film it, but it's so cute. I am so excited to celebrate the holiday season. I'm so ready. Are you ready? Somebody had a big day today. What did we just do? I got vaccinated and I was scared. Yeah, but you were so brave. You got your first COVID shot and Patrick is inside. He was a couple minutes behind us um, to get his. So he'll be out in a moment, but yep. She is first dosed. I got my booster because I got my shot back in April. So it's like, oh, I should probably re-up. So yay. It's a good day. Hello, friends. It is Wednesday night and I am getting ready to go to bed. So I made good progress on the hat today. It did, I don't know, two and a half inches, three inches. Um, if I can do the same again, if I can do the same again tomorrow, then maybe I can finish this on Saturday because then I'll just have a little bit to finish up on Friday and then Saturday I can do decreases. We shall see, um, how that goes, but I think we're going to the movies on Friday, so anything that I have in this plain stockinette section will get finished in the movies. Um, if I'm in decreases, I don't 100% know that I'll be doing the decreases at the movies, although I could 
if I have if I have the decreases already set up with stitch markers and stuff. So that's my sock head slouch hat. And then um, using the pattern World Simplest Mitts by Tin Can Knits, I started this mitten. So it is going to be a set with the hat that I already made, um, the one that needs a pom-pom. So I am almost through the thumb gusset. Um, so probably can finish this mitten tomorrow because we don't have any plans tomorrow. I'm not leaving my house, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not leaving my house tomorrow. So maybe I'll get the first mitten finished and the second mitten cast on. The ripping would be a good movie knit because it's just two by two ribbing in the round for, I did 20 rounds for this. So maybe I'll plan on that if I finish this mitten tomorrow, which I think is totally doable. Um, I did this in listening to one chapter of the Wheel of Time, which some of the chapters are really long and some of them are shorter. I don't know how long the one I listened to was, but yeah, this, um, this should be totally finishable by tomorrow. And I cast on this hat using, um, some Ba La Jolla yarns that were put together in a kit to be like a five skein something or other that you might remember I wound up to make a sweater but the reality is is I my sister got me the kit um and I just don't love the colors in it and they're not really things I would wear like I wouldn't wear this but paired with this gray it's um it's less bright in person it's more muted but I think that this is really fun and I would actually wear it even as it's showing on camera kind of those little bright pops with the gray on the back. So the pattern that I'm making is Measure in Love by Megan Williams, and I'm just a couple, maybe three rounds into the pattern after the brim. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I can finish this mitten and this hat um, and I think I think I can finish all of these by the end of the weekend, um, including the second mitten. So that would be a good goal. And if I manage all of that, then I am going to um, cast on some fingerless mitts to go with this hat. I haven't decided how I want to do that, but I might pull... Um, this slip stitch motif and ribbing and just do something really super simple. Like maybe plug this motif into this mitten or plug in the hat motif onto the mitten. I don't know yet. All right, friends, I am sleepy. Oh, um, I have been listening to Wheel of Time all day. I'm somewhere in the 30s for the chapters. I think there's 56 chapters and I have also been reading, um, which is Steeped in Gold. I'm on page 412, and there's like 530 pages. So I'm really, that is one of my goals, is to finish this book on break too. I have realized, let me turn you around. I finally realized today why it's taken me so long to get through this book. It's because it's written in present tense. I didn't realize I didn't like that. And then this morning it finally hit me like what I was struggling against. And now that I realize that that's what I'm struggling against, I've read probably five or six chapters today. No big deal. So, um, <laughs> my rotation, do you, long time viewers will know that I like to work in a rotation. Um, so my rotation has been two rounds on the mitt, one round on the socket hat, and two rounds on the measure and love hat. And 
one podcast and then one chapter in Wheel of Time in the audiobook and then one chapter in my physical book. In, you know, in between cleaning and doing kid things and I wasn't listening to the audiobook or podcasts when we watched Frozen earlier because Mara wanted to watch a movie, so we watched Frozen. Um, but yeah, that's kind of been my rotation since Patrick went to work this afternoon. So after vaccines, after Patrick went to work, that was my evening time rotation. I'm pretty excited with my progress for today. I'm proud of myself. Good job, me. All right, I will see you tomorrow, probably. Happy Thursday, friends. So slight change of plans. Patrick ended up buying turkey. So I'm making turkey and we're going to have actual Thanksgiving dinner, which is exciting. But um, something else that I'm going to do today is I am actually going to frog these, all of these. I could just knit socks for myself out of the yarn as it is, but um, I would rather frog and not have any sort of mojo left in them. I don't want... I made them with the intent that they go to my sister's boyfriend's... No, my sister's ex-boyfriend's kiddos. Uh, yeah, and I don't want that mojo going on my feet. So I'm going to frog these and I am going to wash them and hang them in the hank so that they can be non-kinked and ready for making. I think I'm going to use all of these to make shorty socks for myself in December. I think that's going to be like my December project plus another pair of socks, plus mitered squares and stuff. This is my last episode of the year. I didn't even think about it. Um, but December 1st is next week, Wednesday. So instead of stopping this, this week's vlog on Sunday, the 28th, I'm just going to record through Tuesday, the 30th. And then Vlogmas starts. Yay! Exciting. I'm excited. I have a little plan of what I want to do for crafty things for Vlogmas. So I'm trying to like get that ready, get that started. And part of that is frogging these socks so that there's no bad mojo. And also like I could keep the toe because it, it wasn't really like, it doesn't have a lot of intent in it, but I really, really, really like the way cuff down socks the construction of it works for my foot better than toe up. Even doing like increases and decreases in the exact same spots, I prefer the fit of a cuff down sock. So I'm going to do that. This is our Thanksgiving feast. We have mac and cheese, pierogies, mashed potatoes, turkey, and gravy. Uh, nobody wanted any vegetables today, so I didn't make any. And All carbs. Friday. No, nope. yes, Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Um, we you are going to go anymore. have a family adventure day. So first up, we are going to go see Encanto. No 
final package of the season. Hello sunshines, my glasses are all foggy from Mask Wearage. Um, so it has been a pretty good day. Did you guys like Encanto? See, si. It was so good. I, I'm glad that I had tissue in my purse and because it's a musical. I was crying like the whole time. Look at all that. That's a hot mess under there. <laughs> um, yeah, I was crying like the whole time. It needs a sequel. It was really good. And then we went to Menards to get a new garbage disposal because ours has a crack in it. Wait, what? Ours has a crack in it. Oh, interesting. Um, and then we went to the mall because I needed new face lotion and my face is super, super picky. So we went to Lush, got a few things. I went to Victoria's Secret, got a couple things and went to, um, what is this called? Starbucks. Patrick went to Starbucks and got us drinks. And now I got he hot is, cocoa. Mara got a hot cocoa. Um, I got a chai latte per usual. Now we're at the post office and I have mailed out the final package. And Patrick is right next door is his favorite Place. One of his favorite sandwich places. It's probably his favorite. So he got his sandwiches. Oh, he's back. All right, see you in a bit. Well, he hey, sunshines. It is Saturday, and I'm at the yarn shop. Before we open for Small Business Saturday, wish me luck. Hopefully people are nice today. Um, so some updates on what I've been working on. I just recorded a, a talkorial for that sock that I've been talking about for like two weeks, wanting to record a tutorial about. Um, so here is my first sock for my nephew. I just need to weave in ends and cast on the other one, but I don't think I'm gonna cast that on immediately. The yarn is Regia Perfect, so the second sock will look exactly like this one. Um, once I pull out the rest of this brown color and get to the yellow, and then the yellow will tell me where to start. But I don't want to work on this. I don't want to work on it because it's plain vanilla and I'm a little vanilla out right now. So what I think I'm going to do is I have this Broco socks in a blue gray color. Let's see, the color is 14110. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to cast on a sock for um, my kids Grammy and make it a pattern sock. I don't know what pattern I want to use. Um, no idea, but I can cast on a cuff and choose a pattern later. Um, something that will work with not self striping yarn, but like self patterning yarn. It has stripe to it. There you go. You can kind of see it. Um, it's similar to this other sock. This is why I don't want to cast on another vanilla project because I have this sock that is very vanilla and da -da -da -da, let me unroll it so you can see what it looks like. So these are the same line. Obviously this is going to have more color variation throughout than this one, but I don't want something where the, um, the yarn is going to fight with the pattern. So I need to find a pattern that will be interesting to work on, especially at school, um, but won't be, won't fight with the yarn. So this is the tube sock that I'm knitting for my other nephew. And I, I don't know where I was last time I saw, you saw this. Um, this is where I was yesterday before we went to the movies. So I've knit all of that since then but I went ahead and I measured um, how much over like three inches and it was coming out to 12 rounds per inch so I figured out that in order to get 18 inches I need 216 rounds I'm gonna do 220 rounds of just plain um, stock net so these markers are all 20 rounds and um, 
have all of the markers I need before I hit the toe. So that's just, I decided I wanted to know and I wanted to count and so now I'm going to roll back this sock in on itself so that it's not hanging, getting in the way as I'm trying to knit on it because I hate that. Um, yeah, so that's going to be my plain vanilla knitting. I knit on it last night while we were watching Wheel of Time, which by the way, episode four does not happen in the first book. So I don't know if the scenes that happened are like borrowed from later books or what, but um, Patrick X asked me uh, at the beginning, like, oh, so is this guy this? And I was like, I don't know. He was like, well, you're, you're reading the book. And I was like, yeah, but the stuff that's going on here does not happen in the book, so I don't have any idea what's going on. Are you guys watching Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime? Do you have any thoughts about it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. So yeah, I worked on that a little bit then. I worked on it a little bit throughout the day because um, I do want that sock finished by Christmas time, obviously. So I'm getting closer. What do I have? I have those two socks that are going, both nephew socks, um, the socks for Grammy and then socks for Gabriel. And then I'm done with Christmas socks. So that's pretty exciting. In other exciting news, I put elastic in the hat, the one that, here, there's the, that's the not pretty part of the brim, um, the one that seemed like it was going to be too big, and so now it is, it's still really loose up here and kind of slouchy, but it's drawn in a lot by that elastic. So hopefully that will work really well for the classroom teacher. I still need to make a palm for that, but... I'm not gonna do that until I finish the mittens. So I finished a mitten two days ago. I meant to show you yesterday, but I didn't check in with you about knitting yesterday. So here's the first mitten. How cute is that? I used, um, I didn't use a pattern for the hat other than I cast on 100 stitches, which for the weight, for the weight of the yarn, I probably should have cast on less, but whatever, elastic fixed that. So I used um, Tin Can Knits World Simplest Mittens for these, and then threw a really simple color work pattern on. And, um, oh, I don't have that end woven in. I thought I had all of my ends woven in on these, but there's the inside. So those are all the floats. I did um, shorter floats than I did on the hat because I, those are the floats there. I didn't want, um, I didn't want the floats to catch as my classroom teacher put the mitts on. Um, I'm really close to finished with the second mitt. So here's the first and here's the second. I think I have one more, yeah, it looks like one more, um, well, not repeat. I, in my head, I'm thinking they're repeats, they're three round repeats, but obviously they're offset, so it's actually a six round repeat. So I have three more rounds before I start the, um, the, what's that called? A decrease is for what? It's like the, the equivalent of a toe decrease, but on a mitten. Finger decreases? So I brought a, um, another nine inch circular so I could do those decreases and do the thumb. I'm planning on doing those in the car after I pick up Patrick as he is driving home. And the other thing that I have been working on is a measure in love hat pattern by Megan Williams using Ba La Jolla, um, two different colors. One is yarn down on the floor now. Uh, I'll pick it up so that you can see, I think, that it is amazing what holding two colors of yarn together can do because these are the yarns just by themselves and whew, that's super yellow but held together look how pretty that is and how toned down and muted um, because honestly I really don't like this color but I like it with the gray so let's see where is the here's the pattern motif in the front you can see it's got um, like a arrow pattern and I am 
maybe a third of the way through the second repeat. So it's going to have two repeats and then crown decreases. And my plan, once I finish this hat, hopefully today, I'm hoping to finish the mitten and the hat today. We'll see. I don't have a lot going on this evening, so it should work. Um, once I finish the hat, it, my plan is to make fingerless mitts, but garter stitch and going in this direction versus going in the round. That's my plan. I don't have a pattern in mind. I don't know if I'm going to look up a pattern or if I'm just going to um, wing it. We'll see how that goes. Uh, still here at the shop and I forgot that I had one more thing to show you. I made this entire sock yesterday. I cast it on right after I woke up because uh, Nitty Natty Natalie is doing a sock miss KAL and so the socks have to be adult size socks, fingering weight, but you can do shorties. So I cast the sock on and this is what I knit on during the movie. I was just past, um, I think I had done one garter, not garter, gusset decrease before we went into the movies and then I did the decrease and I think I got to the pink section right here um, before we left the movie and then I did I got all the way to the toe by the time we got home um, from running errands and so I just finished it yesterday and I'm not sure when I'm going to do the second one but that was pretty exciting to finish a whole sock in a day Hello sunshines, it is Sunday afternoon and I am about to finish off this fingerless mitt. So it is going to match the coordinate with the um, Measure and Love hat by Megan Williams. Um, I kind of took the slip stitch motif from the hat and incorporated it on fingerless mitts. I did not use a pattern. I'm actually really pleased with myself that I made this um, thumb gusset <laughs> because I didn't have a pattern so I kind of just made it up and I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to three needle bind off this mitt. Um, I provisionally cast on using Judy's Magic cast on in two needles and then I'm going to cast on the second one. I wonder if I can finish both today. That would be really exciting. And also so I recorded stuff for a Vlogmas intro video this morning and it's going to be a little deceptive because in that intro video, this is like this big. So this is a sock for my kid's grandma and I am using the Waffle House sock pattern. I don't remember who it's by, but it's just a little um, ribbing pattern super easy four row repeat and it's I've just been doing the one repeat here and there in between doing other things and it's growing super fast so in the intro I have just the tiny beginning of the sock but by the time we get to the first of December I may very well have this first sock finished who knows Hello sunshines, it is Monday the 29th of November 2021 and I am going to round out this vlog. I know I said I was going to record until tomorrow but I think I'm going to take tomorrow off from recording. My sister's moving in tomorrow so I just assume like I work during the day and then I assume after work is going to be helping so there's probably not going to be much footage um my sister and her two kids so let's just um let's look at what I've been working on and on the first vlog of vlogmas you will see progress from this point on so here is my nephew's sock that is how far since Saturday I've been trying to make progress on it because it's boring. <laughs> so I have been, I've been making some progress on that. I have uh, just about 60 rounds to go before the toe. I'm hoping to finish that before December 1st. Um, I finished the second mitt this morning. I got through um, 
the first half and the thumb on this second mitt last night and then I did like two ridges and I was like nah I'm done <laughs> so I woke up this morning I finished it before school um which is why the ends aren't woven in because I finished it and then I was like oh I should probably get dressed and walk out the door because it was I finished it about 10 minutes before I was supposed to leave and I wasn't dressed yet so I'm gonna weave in those ends but yay that is finished and then I have been working on this sock for my kid's grandma and um, I am six rounds away from finishing the gusset decreases. I have decided not to carry this pattern on down the foot just because um, if she wants to wear these in her shoes, smoother socks create less issues in shoes. So the pattern is, it's a riff on a three by three rib. So I just decided to go with a three by three rib down the foot and yeah, I'm close to, um, I'm close to finishing the gusset and I am, uh, probably about a third of the way down the foot total. So maybe I can finish both of these socks by the beginning of Vlogmas. Wouldn't that be exciting? I'm going to try. I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. Let's see if I can do it. All right, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this past um, week and a, and a couple days. Week and a day. How long has it been? A week and a day, I think. And I look forward to seeing you in Vlogmas. If you're not watching Vlogmas, then I will see you next year. Um, I don't think I'm going to do like a roundup video for projects finished during Vlogmas, although I may. Now that I say that, that sounds kind of cool. Probably it would be like on the 26th, I would just post <laughs> what I finished um, during the time, but I don't anticipate that. So if you're not watching Vlogmas, you're going to miss out on the projects, but that's okay. Um, if you're not watching, I will see you in the new year. If you are watching, I will see you in two days. My intent is to record and upload every single day. I should be able to do it. I'm going to shoot for about mm, somewhere between five and 15 minutes per vlog. Unless we're doing something really, really cool. I will talk to you soon. Bye, friends.